Hi, I'm Natalie Sisson, the suitcase entrepreneur and adventurer from New Zealand. I love creative ways to run your business from anywhere using online tools, social media, and outsourcing. And I truly believe that any business can be virtual. That's why I'm always trying to discover the best of the best online tools to streamline your business and save you time and money. Right here on Toolkit Time, a weekly show just for you. So I have been using Hootsuite, a social media dashboard, for around two years now and they just hit two million users. It's a huge milestone so I think it's about time you get to know these groovy people. It's a company based in Vancouver. They have an incredible interface. They are, you're just going to love Hootsuite. I mean they have changed my life. They allow me to do all sorts of incredible time saving things when it comes to updating all my social media sites, keeping in track of my engagement and even tracking stats and analytics. So let's dive right in to Hootsuite. So here is what Hootsuite looks like on the inside. I'm showing you my secret panel. Now it may look initially a little bit overwhelming but it's really not. I have this thought out in my own mind process and you can do it any way that you would like as well. Up the top is where you can type in your message. Very simple. Hootsuite makes it really, really easy for you to be able to send from multiple profiles and to be able to shrink links and even schedule out tweets. How cool is that? So I would just simply start typing a message. Here is me showing you. So I type this in. I can, I can add in a link really, really easily and then shrink it. For example, let's put in the Hootsuite link. Just cut and paste it pop it into here and I click on shrink and that's pretty much it. I can choose whether I want it to be an hourly shortener which is obviously one of the great URL shorteners or um, Hootly which is another one from Hootsuite itself and I just click on shrink and we're off. Then I simply choose which one of my profiles that I would like to send it to. So up here you can see I have my Natalie Sisson on Twitter, I have my Suitcase Entrepreneur on Twitter, I have my Facebook profile, I have my LinkedIn profile and I have my Facebook page. I can also add in Foursquare etc etc and I'll show you how to do that. So now I can just click send once I've selected uh, which profile I want to send from or I can select multiple ones and down here there's a quick select all as well. So how I use it each morning is I will get up after I've done my writing and my content creation and I will scan through my particular tabs here that I have open. So this is my Natalie Sisson one. As you can see I have um, Vancouver because I obviously spent a lot of time there and I still love a lot of the people and they have great things to say. So as I've gone on I've selected people to add into that list. Then I have a social media list for people who I think tweet really well um, and informative posts around social media. Here I have, and this is probably one of the most useful things in the world, keyword search on my name. Now why this is so brilliant is, as you probably know, you can miss a lot of stuff on Twitter. I mean it's constantly flowing. By keyword searching my name, it not only brings up people who are saying, hey, at Natalie Sisson, it will also bring up people who have retweeted me, have mentioned me, etc. But even sometimes without my name in it. So recently I was published on social media today and anybody who was retweeting that, even though it didn't say Natalie Sisson sometimes in the actual link, would um, would come up and show me that those people have been doing that. So the great thing about that was I could reply to them and say, hey, thanks for promoting that article or thanks for sharing it, thanks for commenting. And uh, it's brilliant in that respect. It's a little bit like Google Alerts. It'll pull up anything, even if your name is in not in the blog post, but it's still related to you. So a really, really great way to keep track of things. Um, over here I have a couple of hash search terms. So this is still for the World Domination Summit, which I went to in June. Highly recommend you go next year for all those travelers and nomads and entrepreneurs. And so I can keep track of hashtags when it's around a conference or an event that I want to keep on top of if I'm there or if I can't attend. And then of course over to the right I have um, my direct messages. 
So that's just on my Natalie Sisson tab. And this is the way I kind of keep track in the morning. I will come through, I will have a look down um, these tags, and I'll see, you know, what do I actually want to retweet? And I will schedule it out for every couple of hours, especially if it's interesting. Okay, so I want to retweet what Ari Rich has said, and also Adrian Smith here. This is to reply, so if I hit reply, I'll just reply to Adrian. If I hit here, this is so cool, I love this feature, I'll be able to reply to all. I could favorite it so that I remember it's there. I could send it to my email, and I could assign it, if I wanted to, to a team member, uh, which is another little groovy feature about Hootsuite. So let's say I want to retweet this. Click on the retweet button. What I love about this, as opposed to Twitter, is that you actually get to um, edit your tweet before you send it out. So now it's up here, as you can see. You can also see that it's three characters over. Um, plus, I don't actually like having two lots of people retweeting in front. So what I generally do, and this may seem like it's a little time consuming, but just bear with me. I think it makes it more personal. I'll highlight the names. I'll take them out of the front. I will actually get rid of brands and blogs. And I would start straight away with the article because I think it's got a great title. The No BS Guide to Advertising and PR for Pro Bloggers. And then I would actually take out, I don't know why there's always these little extra things in there, but you want to minimize the characters that are in here. So I would keep this in at the moment. This is for Blog World New York and then Blogging Tips. Let's see how long it's going to be. And then I'd actually just add in via paste back in those names and get rid of the retweets. Now, this may seem like a long way around, but actually it's worth it, I think, initially if you want your stuff retweeted, if you want to share it, and if you want to actually look like you've taken some time to read their message and go through and find great stuff to tweet to your audience. You know, anybody can hit retweet. <laughs> um, it's when you put in a little bit more time. So, now we're down to, we've still got 18 characters left. I can put those hashtags at the end, but generally I like to say who it's by at the end as well. And then I'm going to select my profile here and uh, my profile on LinkedIn as well because it's relevant to my LinkedIn network. And then I'm going to click on send now. Okay, now we're over on my suitcase entrepreneur tab. Once again, you can see I have my home feed in here, so this is every single person that I'm following on Twitter will come up in here. I generally think I follow quality people, so that's great. And uh, every so often I just glance down here and see what is interesting and what I can pull out. You'll notice here, what I really like about Hootsuite as well is it shows you your latest tweet. So I've just come into here, I can see in my home feed there's 30 plus new messages, you'll see by this little round square. So I can just scroll up and can actually look at what's new as opposed to maybe what's a little bit older. And in Twitter older time, that's probably like 20 minutes old. Over here I have another keyword set up for my Suitcase Entrepreneur or Woman's World Twitter account. Soon changing out that name. And I can see, you know, all the conversations I've been having down here or things that I've been tweeting, but I can also come up and have a look at what's new and go down and just kind of see the conversations that have been happening. So really, really great way to keep on top of things. Once again, I have some lists set up over here. Now these are actually lists that I set up on Twitter, but the cool thing is you can add them into Hootsuite and then you can actually add people to it manually via Hootsuite. I should say Hootsuite. So I have a female entrepreneurs tab, I have a startups tab, I have an inspiration tab for those wonderful quotes. What else do I have over here? I have the Young Entrepreneur Council because I'm a member of it. There's around 180 people in that list, so I just followed the list and there they are. I have Forbes Women Blogger because I contribute to them as well. So it's great. I can see and keep on top of the quality people out there that I want to retweet converse with and share their information. So let's say, so what about scheduling out into the future? Yes, you can do that through Hootsuite. Let's have a little look here. Let's uh, retweet Startups Map because I really like this tweet that they've got there. So I'm just going to click on the retweet button. Okay, once again it's too long, so <laughs> this is a big problem with people who tweet. I'm sure I do it sometimes, but 140 characters is your limit. If you want people to retweet you or add in some hashtags or make it a little bit more personalized, you actually need to make it around 100, 110 characters. I'm just saying. Okay, so once again I'm going to select my account. I've shortened it up. You can see I just put in percentage and I took out 
a couple of words at the end, so now it's down to eight characters. And now I want to schedule this. I don't want to send this straight away. I've just sent a tweet recently, so I'm going to schedule it out. Okay, and it pops up with this cute little calendar. I'm going to schedule it out for today, but I'm going to put it for, let's say, 10 o'clock, 10, 10 50 instead, so it's going to go in an hour's time. All right, and then I just click Done. Or I can remove the scheduling, or I can actually schedule in bulk. So let's just show you what that looks like. This is a fairly new feature that Hootsuite have brought in, and it means that if you've got a whole lot of tweets that you've written out, let's say you were feeling really creative one day, or you've got quotes that you want to put in, you can actually put them into a CSV, a comma-separated file, and upload up to 50 messages. Put them in here, and then it will actually just tweet them out when you want it to. So um, it's, it'll assign them in five minute times so they'll just be kind of sending it out. It's really really great if you have a pretty active Twitter account but you can't keep up with everything. You can set that in the morning and off you go. So talk about time saving measures. Hootsuite has it all sorted out for you. But for now we'll just click on schedule and it will send that out in the next hour. Okay, so there's a ton of things that Hootsuite does, but those, I would say, are the most incredible parts of this platform, and also the most time-saving. At any stage, I can click on Home, and I can add in a new account. I can just come down to Settings, and it pops up with this pretty little screen. So this is where you get to organize your social networks. You can add a social network at any stage, and it's pretty much just a matter of clicking on that button, um, entering in your login details, and then voila, you're in. It just makes it just needs to allow Hootsuite to interact with that social network. Um, it's wise to sync your avatars from time to time, so you get your new photos put up there as well. And then I actually have um, a t one team member. Adelina, who's on my team, who can do some tweeting on my behalf, and every so often I'll just get her to, you know, tweet out some really cool thing, um, information that they've been putting out and retweeting it. I can't always keep my eye on everything. I don't ask her to do it very often, but it's good to know that I can have her as a team member and manage something, especially if I was running like a hash chat, for example. It would be really handy to have somebody else on board. Here's another groovy thing about Hootsuite. You can add in your own blog feed if you have a blog, and it will actually tweet them out whenever you update your post, which is fantastic. I took mine off a while ago because I have Google and also um, stumble upon PR tweeting it out and I just didn't want it going out three or four times but really handy for streamlining your business so you don't have to initially tweet it out. You can obviously follow up with further promotion. But these are the main things that I really wanted you to look at. And the final one I'm just going to cover off today before you go investigating it yourself is analytics. And you can actually set up your own custom reports, either just using the Hootsuite analytics or integrating your Google Analytics account. And what it will do is show you things like click-throughs on your tweets, which are your most popular tweets, what time of the day is that, what demographics, and what areas um, of the world people are tweeting you from. So just lots of really, really cool stuff, lots of rich data and ways to actually start tracking your time on Twitter, which I know is a big, big thing for a lot of people. And uh, it's just a really great thing to look at once a week. It gets emailed to me, or I can just check it from here. I can export it, print it, share it, which is fantastic. Imagine you have a team, and you can actually track their performance, what they're doing, what's working, etc. as well. So really highly advise that you have a look around Hootsuite. I love it. It's going to save you so much time. It's going to be your new best friend. Any questions on it, need some help, come and uh, speak to me or come and join the social media club and uh, we'll help you out on a weekly, monthly basis. I'm having Q&A calls, coaching calls and talk about all sorts of tools like this. Thank you so much for joining me today.